Hello there. Here is a video on custom NPC puppet control with scripting. It's part two and this is going to be a really amazing video, I think. Um, and I would not want to take a lot of the credit for it because uh, the main part of this was written by, I believe, uh, someone in China rain effect I believe and I will try and leave a link to the website where I got this script from it's also like the wizard blast script the original one uh, not the one that I wrote so uh, I like to give a lot of credit to him because uh, I will show you the script here in a second and I honestly don't know how it works so let's get started here um, these are just some tests I was running here. A lot of these, I copied these guys and tested to see if there was much lag with multiple guys running these. It doesn't seem to have lag, um, at least with my tests, uh, when I have them all running. So initially what I was doing is I was uh, using this guy to select a pose and saving it. I would click on him interact and then I would hit him and that would write the file and that was a little crude I thought people wouldn't like that that basically writes a file in the uh, EMC, ECMA, ECMA script directory uh, under scripting custom of your saved world um, so I just wrote that file right there a couple seconds ago when I hit him um, and these are some other ones I was uh, using earlier today and I will go through an exact example of all this so let's just get rid of all these in this directory and now I have a much cleaner way of doing this now that uh, we have uh, this new GUI in, in Minecraft uh, custom NPCs 1.12.2 which uh, the GUI is really nice um, I was just going to show you what these animations. This guy is on a loop here, and this guy just goes, does a couple animations and then stops. This guy will loop through a couple pointing animations, and then he will uh, go on to a second animation, waving his arms like that, and then he will continue pointing again. And uh, he, it's uh, just set on a timer and so it, it keeps going um, you, you, until you reset him with the scripter or something like that so he should stop now um, this is uh, one that I've done recently and you can see the different speeds here of the animation there's, there's a slow and a fast um, this is the one that I just finished also and he's slow and then he has waving his arms fast and his uh, bobbing head is slow so I'm gonna redo this guy here we'll just start from scratch here what you want to do you want to have an NPC and you want to make sure that he is set on puppet all right so now this puppet setter is where all the fun starts. So right now he is standing. Um, obviously you can see just like a regular NPC. This guy is set on on puppet also. So I go in here and this opens up this GUI, and I need a file name and action name, which is the base the same thing. And then I have a speed and 0.5 is fast and three is slow. Um, so you can even go faster than that. I might try something a little bit faster right now, but if you uh, um, and then it it saves that in a file, and I'll show you what to do with that here in a second. But if you hit just start without any of these filled out, it will put up a message telling you that you have not entered anything in here. So let's just put it in standing. We'll put this. Standing fast, let's say. Standing fast one. And so we'll say, we'll, let's say point, 
four. And we hit start, and then we can have standing fast um, two, and we'll say point. Let's say point two. I don't know. We'll go real fast. So what that does is it writes the files right here. And we'll take a look at those in a second. Um, so, and then you can also have a standing slow. And I don't know if we'll use that or not. Um, let's set three is very slow. We'll put a two there. Okay, so close that out. And let's go in here and give him some poses now. So, um, there's a number of ways you can get arms to uh, a certain position. Like I had that guy over there swinging his arms to the right and the left. Um, what I did is I moved this up and then this over like that to get his arm that that location. Now you can also you can also move his arm. Uh, it'd be nice if there was a way you could zero these out. Just uh, you could also move his arm like that, and then swing it like that. You see, we want it in just a little bit, and maybe a little higher. So let's see. Let's say 240. Yeah, that looks good. That's maybe too high. Two twenty. There we go. Um, and then his right arm, we will also bring up, and then we will bring. Whoops, we'll bring that in to like twenty. Also, bring that up a little higher. Okay. Let's bring that out a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty good. So, what I can do then is just go into this and it can be uh, arms uh, or I am missing the I key today swing arm that would be left I think left one and we'll make that fairly fast like let's make that point four also okay so we did that and then now we can just do the same way right how does that look i should have written down the numbers here i'm just kind of doing these off the top of my head so um, let's do a couple more animations and then I'll show you how to put it all together here um, let's go back
how many files here? Two, four, five, six, seven. Seven different animations possible here. Different uh, ways of uh, moving this guy. And so let's go into here. Um, we can just, uh, here's one I was working on. We can just delete all this. Um, so here is the script. And uh, like I said, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I don't even want to embarrass myself by trying to explain it here. Uh, it's basically creating some sort of thread thing here in Java, and uh, it, I just treat it as a black box. All I know is that this variable, what format that variable has to be in, and that is down here at the bottom. And what we will do, I'll go through here. And we'll open all these up and with Notepad. Let's just take standing fast first. Copy. And we will put that in here. And like I said, all you need to know is how to type a comma, and you can do this here. So we'll put that there, standing fast. One. And swing arms right. I will speed things up here and get this all done. Okay, now then, if you want to do another animation um, that has the same name, you're going to have to name it something different because it has to be a different variable. Uh, that's how this list works, otherwise it, uh, it will mess up. So let's say we want him to maybe do a little um, swing arm right here at the end again after he stops. Um, so he's standing, um, whoops, swing arm, okay. Yeah, it looks like I put the wrong thing in here. This should be swing arm right also. There, swing arm right, he's standing, swing arm right, left, dance left one, dance right, standing fast two, and then we can go swing arm right again, but you're going to have to modify that. Just give it a swing arm right A or maybe B for a second time, something like that. Um, and then we can, uh, let's just go to this one. I can't remember what the difference is. Copy, put another comma in there, and so there. That's it. That's all you have to do. Select everything here, and that should work. This guy's the guy. Turn scripting on. Paste. Okay, yeah, see I forgot to rename that second standing fast there. That's and that's why it will come up. So standing fast B. Okay. It will actually cause an error right there. Clear that out. And there we go. There's the animation. So that's that's all there is to it. You could put that on a loop and uh, you have to watch out. If you click on him, you know, as it's running, it will it will mess things up. You can put something in there to prevent, uh, if, if it's running, uh, to prevent it from being, uh, uh, to cancel the interaction or, or to cancel the uh, running of the script all uh, let me see it's run here and it's uh, 
it's a function so you could put something if this is uh, running somehow you could put something on there that's if this is running uh, don't run it again <laughs> some sort of timer or something uh, but uh, that's how you do it um, that's why it's uh, yeah sometimes good to put these guys on timers um, you have to actually time them and then you can you can check if the timer is running and then uh, cancel it or say uh, if timer is running uh, cancel yeah thanks for watching